Lewis Hamilton crashes superbike during Spanish testing Hamilton swapped four wheels for two just one week after wrapping up the Formula One season. The Brit secured his fifth world title this campaign to become the joint second most decorated driver of all time. While enjoying some time away from motorsports premier competition, Hamilton drove the Yamaha YZFR1 around the Spanish racetrack incident-free. That was until he hit the deck on turn 5 causing minor damage to his bike, which was painted in black and had his F1 number 44 printed on it. Hamilton escaped without any injuries as he walked away from the track. The 33-year-old is a big fan of MotoGP and has a keen interest in superbikes so this small accident will in no way be a deterrent for future tests. Despite the F1 season now being over, Hamilton is still working at a number of sponsorship events. But he hopes to be able to have some downtime in about a fortnight's time. I haven't made any plans yet but looking forwards to family time, Hamilton said. I unfortunately still have a lot of work to do until mid-December sometime. But, I'm, excited for the winter winter break and just getting time to spend with my sister and the kids and my mum and my dad. The whole switch off thing. When Hamilton returns to work in the new year he will be gunning for his sixth world title. And he expects a stern challenge from Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas and Ferrari rival Sebastian Vettel. I would imagine it's going to be Sebastian and Valtteri, Bottas alongside me, he said after winning the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. But Red Bull have a great car. They've been very strong at the end of the year. They've got a new engine, from Honda, next year. Will it be able to compete with ours? I hope so. That would epic, if Red Bull could really start to mingle with us a little bit more weekend in, weekend out. They've obviously got to improve on their reliability which has been a big downfall for them. There are lots of areas but I really wish them all the best. We are down for the competition, that's for sure. Next new, Horner, Ricciardo and Verstappen the best teammates we've ever had. Red Bull chief Christian Horner believes that the pairing of Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen is the best teammate duo that the team has ever had, as he also reserves praise for the departing Australian who is set to join Renault in 2019. Ricciardo and Verstappen may have had their spats on and off the track like any other teammates, but there is a rapport displayed which suggests they enjoy each other's company on a professional and personal basis. Horner, who has been in charge at Red Bull since 2005, believes the pair are the best team has had. It's probably the best one I've ever had in my career in terms of dynamics between the two of them respect the way they have pushed each other or they both benefit along the way they operate himself within the team, Horner said of the partnership. It's been a very good rapport and they've both pushed each other to new levels. Looking back to when Ricciardo was selected to replace Mark Webber in the team, Horner admits that there were early concerns about his ability to make the step up from Toro Rosso in order to overcome wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles at the front of the grid, a question which the Honey Badger quickly put to bed with his impressive overtaking skills. Ironically when we were first faced with the dilemma of who do we replace Mark Webber with, there was Jean Eric Verne, there was Daniel Ricciardo, there was Kimi Raikkonen. And our biggest concern about Daniel wasn't his pace it was we hadn't seen him race wheel to wheel while he was in a Toro Rosso, Horner continued. But ever since he got in a Red Bull racing car he's done nothing but overtake and arguably has become the best overtaker in the business. He's driven some fantastic races for us. His personality has been a tremendous fit for the brand. His energy and the team has been hugely popular.
the dynamic with him and Max, you've only got to at the mischief that they get up to. All we can do as the chapter closes is wish him the best of luck for the future. And a new chapter opens with another young talent named Pierre Gasly. Next new verse step in public service suggestion made by Fi. FIA President Jean Todt has suggested that Max Verstappen may have to work with race stewards as part of his public service handed down as a punishment for his clash with Esteban Ocon after their on-track coming together at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Verstappen shoved Ocon in the weighing room after a race in which a certain Red Bull victory was wiped out by the Frenchman's attempts to unlap himself to the then race leader, which only served to put them both into a spin. The Dutchman has said he will not look like an idiot while serving out his service, which is still yet to be decided. When you have these kinds of exposures, this kind of fame, it gives you also responsibilities, Todd told Sky Sports. So it means that whatever your emotions you must be able to control them. And to respect your supporters, to respect your word. If not you have some consequences. But I will say the consequences finally are quite small. What'll it be, honestly nothing has been decided. But clearly it has to be something that will be supportive to the Formula One world, supportive to the racing world. Maybe a contribution to work closer with some stewards or some officials during some training, during some education groups. We have different things which are going to happen next year. Maybe participate, in, a group panel of stewards in another category of motorsport to put yourself on the other side and understand that it's not always easy. But I'm sure we'll find some constructive programs. Next new Ricciardo reflects on most difficult F1 year to date. Daniel Ricciardo admits he will remember 2018 as his most difficult season in Formula 1 to date, but will also take away memories of some of his most famous triumphs. Ricciardo's only podium finishes across the year were stunning victories in China and Monaco as reliability issues prevented him from making an impact elsewhere. Ricciardo suffered day DNFs across 2018 more than any other driver as well as more than Lewis Hamilton has suffered in six years as a Mercedes racer, six. Still, victory in Monaco was a huge vindication for the Australian following the 2016 race slipping through his fingers in a pitch stop blunder by Red Bull, while his Shanghai win was a strategic triumph and featured a number of astonishing overtakes none better than the pass on Valtteri Bottas for the lead which was voted F1's best of the season. A dilemma over his future also hung over Ricciardo for much of the year until he decided to switch to Renault in 2019 during this year's mid-season break and he is looking forward to getting away from the close season after such an exhausting campaign. Asked by Red Bull's official website of 2018 was his hardest year, Ricciardo said, 100% yes. Absolutely. Even purely on the results, but then with everything else on top of that. There's the contract stuff, the high of Monaco, the low of the DNFs it's been by far the most intense and challenging season I've ever experienced. Mentally it's tested me, but I feel it's only going to make me stronger down the track. As challenging and as low as it's been at times, I've also had the biggest highs and the most special moments in my life. The biggest thing with Monaco was what happened afterwards. I was waking up in the middle of the night, panting to the bathroom, looking in the mirror and saying it really happened. <laughs>